Now, that circle was easy. It didn't have any sharp edge. How to make a complex shape like this? So we are going to make a complex shape with a corner. All right. So first of all, make a point here. So with the help of your pen tool, click on the letter P, then make a point here. You can use Ctrl minus and Ctrl plus to zoom in and zoom out. Okay. Just use Ctrl minus or Ctrl plus to zoom in and zoom out. Now let's click here, click and drag to make a point here. You see, it's very crazy, right? So it's very difficult to make a point at this corner because of the interval. So let's click at the middle, click and make a point here. Then we can click here and then we can get a curve. As you already know, to edit this one, hold down the control or the command key to control this curve all right so we can also hold out the control key to control this one and you, you can see this one is a corner so when i click once you can see this handle has influences this curve all right now there are two things that we can do here we can move the handle and we can delete the handle so okay to move the handle here is what you need to do hold down the alt key okay or option key on the mac click and drag on the handle to move this curve and you can see just like this we have been able to influence that curve to get this nice shape that we are looking for and next from here we can continue creating the handle so let's go click and end so we have just ended but you can see our path is not curved anymore it's a straight line so we can still continue to make this one a curve. Just hold down the Alt key, which will open the Convert Point 2. So that from here, with the Convert Point 2, when we click and drag, it is going to introduce a new handle. So when the new handle introduced, just like we have, then you click on the Alt key to control the handle. All right. So just click, remove your hand from the Alt key and click on it again. And then from here, we can control only one side of the handle. All right. Then from here, we can hold the control key, click on the point, and then it is going to introduce the handle for that corner. And from here, we can hold the control key or the alt key to control this handle as well. So you can see it's very simple, right? So just control it, holding the control key, and then if you want to open up the handle just hold the control key and then we are going to have these handles and we can control it from here so this is very 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 easy you just have to understand the principles so if you want to open handles that you have already created just hold on the control key click on it it is going to open those handles for you and then from there we can control the handle as we want and also you can see at the top you have the add or delete point so when you click on the middle you see it adds a point and then we can hold the control key to move that point anywhere we want to move the point to all right okay i hope this is very very understandable so if you want to move the point make sure you hold down the control key so that we can toggle between where we want to move the point to okay so with the convert point we help you to add a point remove a point and also introduces handle so these are the basic things you can do with it so so all you need to know from here is that when you hold down the alt key it opens up the convert point to and the convert point will help you to bend handles remove handles and bring back so just like this click and drag in this case i just click and then come here when i hold down the alt key it opens up the convert point two and when i click and drag this one brings me handles and i can bend the handle holding the alt key and i can also remove the handle make sure you have auto add or delete selected and when you have over this, you see minus when I click, it will remove the handle. All right.